Girl service horse named Fred took his first flight this week, starting at Gerald R. Ford International Airport. Our Aaron Porcegen spoke with his handler about the trip and joins us now to tell us more. Aaron. Yeah, Angeline, Fred just got back to his Nuego County home after spending a few days in sunny California. The trip went as smooth as you could imagine, and it's why his handler is hoping laws don't change so he can fly again. It's not every day you see a horse on a plane, let alone in first class, but Fred the mini service horse went wheels up with a purpose. This was our first trip via an airplane. Fred has traveled several thousands of miles in my vehicle, but it was our first time in the air. Ronica Frozy has trained Fred to be a therapy and a service horse. He lives in her house, is housebroken, and is more well trained than most this is dogs. A litter box. Get in there. I've spent a year of my life training this horse extensively for what he has, and we were I was totally prepared for everything. Frozy put months of work preparing for Fred's trip, which included two flights each way. We left in the afternoon. We flew from Grand Rapids and we connected in Dallas, and then we went to Ontario, California. I purchased two first class seats and bulkhead seating. Um, I paid an arm and a leg for our tickets, but I did that so it was Fred's first time. I wanted him to be comfortable. I wanted him the most room. And it paid off. Other than the expected gawking, the trip went without a hitch. The experience was way better than I actually actually had anticipated. Ronica wants people yeah, yeah. to see how well the trip went, especially with talks of stricter regulations from the Department of Transportation on which species of animals can fly. It is out of control. Um, it's a very abused process. There are a lot of untrained service service animals on the plane that are not trained. It's it's definitely abused system. But the sad part is, is what the DOT is looking at doing is they're looking at excluding me as a handler from taking my horse on the plane. She's hoping they reverse course so Fred's first air travel experience won't be his last. And to be clear, Fred is a service animal, not an emotional support animal, so he has greater access to places under the law. If you want to follow along with Fred or Ronica's other mini horses, Charlie and George, we have a link on fox17online.com and on our app. Live in the newsroom, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News.